in my senses. And I come on back. Just praise the Lord that you're going to be there with open arms when I come to my senses, friend. Lord, whatever you do, turn away. don't turn away from me. Lord, Hallelujah. Please join me in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, the name. What's up, New Philly? What's up? All right. All right. How is y'all today? Good. I want to know, I want y'all to know that I is fine too. All right. All right. Amen. God saw to it that I get at least one more day. Amen. Right now, a new day. So here I am. Amen. Here I be. All right now. Or should I say, here we are. Because we're all here. We're all benefiting from the grace and mercy that can only come from, from God. God. Yes. 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 Amen? Yes. Amen. That same God that sits high yes. and looks low. Yes. <laughs> that God that never leaves us and never forsakes us. Yes. Yes. That God that loves us unconditionally, All right now. even when we present ourselves in moments of unlovability. Mm. <laughs> That's, all right. That's a word. Because yeah. <laughs> I just used yeah. All right now. <laughs> wow. At those times when we show God that we ain't exactly lovable, he's still dead anyway. Mm -hmm. He's still God anyway. Mm -hmm. yes. And there's still grace and mercy anyway. anyway. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. Ain't that something to be thankful for? Luke? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, my God. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Since we've established the fact that we're thankful, let me ask y'all. Ain't a blessing to be in the house of the Lord. Yes, yes, it is. As we celebrate a special day today. Yes. yes. Amen. And a blessing to be in the fellowship of believers as we celebrate a special day today. Yes. Ain't it a blessing to be. Amen. Yes. As we celebrate a special day today. Yes. Amen. Yes. And mom has already told y'all what that special day is. <laughs> This coming Tuesday is October 24th. Yes. And we'll be celebrating Dad's call. Yes. Pastor Dad. And 50 years. Oh, yeah. That's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Just soldiering on. <laughs> October 24th, 1967, the day he was called by God. Now, it's not the day that he answered, but it was the day he was called. <laughs> but it's still worth celebrating. Amen. All right? So on behalf of New Philadelphia Community Church, the leadership and the church family, I say to you, Pastor Don Gaskin, yes. God bless you on this, the 50th year of your call. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And the thing is, God not only bless you by calling you, mm -hmm. he blessed us yeah. because you answered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> Ain't that good, New Philadelphia? Yes, it is. That's a good God, ain't mm -hmm. it? He just waited it out. Oh, you'll be back. You know. Because y'all know we have those scriptures. I told y'all about those scriptures where God tells you, well, when you do this. When he, like when, when Moses was, uh, he told Moses, well, when you go to the Pharaoh. And Moses was like, well, I can't go to the Pharaoh. Uh -huh. But he didn't hear that God said, when you go. So you going. I don't know why you arguing. You going. So that was the same thing. The same thing. You know, okay, don't on that about. But we're going to give you some joy in a little while. So don't on do what you going to do. My will 
will be done. All right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise him. As we celebrate with our pastor today, I want to take the time to say that today's message is a tribute to you and your specialty. Amen. 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 Now, our scripture speaks to a calling from God. And also speaks to spiritual comportment. How you act. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. Once you answer the call. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Basically, God is saying, now that you've been called, act like you've been called. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, this is uh, Paul writing to the Ephesians, um, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you to walk worthy of the calling with which you will call. This is New King James Version. Now, I'm by no means anybody who can judge the Philadelphia. Amen. But what, from what I've seen over these nearly 28 years, we have a pastor who definitely walks worthy Amen. of his call. Amen. Amen. Now, if I'm wrong, y'all tell me. Oh, right. 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 That you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Colossians 1.10. Do y'all think our pastor is walking worthy of the Lord? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Amen. Do y'all think our pastor is fully pleasing the Lord? Yes. 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 Do y'all think our pastor has increased in the knowledge of the Lord? Yes, 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 yes most definitely. Because yes. I, for one, I feel like not only has he increased in the knowledge of the Lord, but he's increased us yes. in the knowledge yes. of the Lord. Right. Like I said, as soon as I'm wrong, y'all let me know. I don't want to be messing up on him. <laughs> I don't want to be telling no 45. <laughs> that's another sermon. <laughs> but that's praise word. That's praise word. We should be thanking God for our pastor. Yes, yes. We should be thanking God for our pastor teaching us. Mm -hmm. We should be thanking God for our pastor teaching us and increasing our knowledge of God. Yes. yes. Amen? Amen. 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 All right. Thank you. This calling is very serious oh, yes. and it's very real. Yes. And it should never be ignored. Yes. <laughs> well, I ain't going to say too much more about that. <laughs> I ignored it too. <laughs> I tried to anyway. <laughs> But the thing is, preachers have a responsibility to lead people to Christ. Yes. And um, when uh, me and uh, Reverend Doctor Baby's sister Vicky got, uh, <laughs> we were, when we were ordained, I don't know if, if y'all remember the ones that were there. Y'all remember my friend um, Pastor Benjamin Adams? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, he made a statement that I just can't forget. It. He said that once you have been called by God, he assigns souls to you. Mm -hmm. okay. Those souls, you are responsible mm -hmm. for bringing those souls to Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he went on to say that you must get those souls. So, if we have a responsibility to bring people to Christ and we ignore this calling or just do everything we can not to answer it, then we are spiritually shirking our responsibilities. Mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. And if we are shirking our responsibilities, right. that means some souls are not getting saved some souls are not getting won because you have done everything you can to stay away from your responsibility, which is to answer the call of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
just wanted to throw that out there. Mm. Mm. So we have to make sure that those souls don't go mm. unclaimed. Yeah. Mm. Mm. We have to make sure. Mm. And by ignoring the call, that is exactly what can happen. Instead of walking with your calling, walking worthy of your calling, you're actually contradicting your walk and your call. And then when you do that, God ain't pleased. God ain't pleased. And why would he even call you if it wasn't for his will and his people? Because nothing that God does is haphazard. <laughs> nothing he does is happenstance. Mm -hmm. Ain't no coincidences when it comes to God. Mm -hmm. All right. God has the plan. Right. It's already set. <laughs> you just got to get on board. Yeah. 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 But you know what's so funny, though? God gives you a choice. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And eventually you're going to choose what he wants you to choose. <laughs> he gives you a choice. But you're going to do what he wants you to do. <laughs> I mean, just think about it. We all have choices. Jesus had choices. Jesus just made all the right choices. And I'm so glad he did. Yes. Yes. Look at him. He did. When he was right there. And he was praying by taking Come that on. cup from me. Come on. And no. then at the same time and in the same breath, he said, but if it's your will, yes. your will is going to be done. Yes. Woo! Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Don't think, I ain't just thanking him for the stuff that's been done today or the stuff that's been done yesterday. I'm thanking him for that prayer right then when he said, if it's your will, even though I don't want it to be your will, because it sure ain't mine, but if it's your will, I'll let it be done. So yes. I'll drink of the cup, yes. even though I don't want to. I don't want to die for these people. <laughs> but I'm so thankful just for that. And then, at, at any other time on that on that walk, on when during the time he was getting beat, the, when he was carrying that cross on his back, right. when he got up nailed onto the cross, oh, at any time, Jesus could have stopped all oh, that. that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad. I'm he so did. glad he did. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Now that's a walk worthy of a call. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear me? Yes. <laughs> now I'm going to give y'all the subject of my message for today. And y'all probably won't understand it until I get to the conclusion. Why the subject is what it is. But since we're celebrating the anniversary of Pastor Dad's call, and our scriptures speak of one walking worthy of their calling, I want to speak to y'all a short while from the subject Playground Preaching. <laughs> <laughs> I've had some good days I've had some hills to climb I've had some weary days And some lonely nights When I look around And when I think things over All of my good days 
They outweigh my bad days. <coughs> so I, I won't complain. Right, right. Sometimes my clouds ain't low. I can hardly see the road. Question, Lord, Lord, why, why so much pain? But He knows what's best for me. Although my weary eyes they can't see, so I'll say. The Lord's been good to me. He's been so, so good to me. More than this world could ever be. He's been so, so good to me.
let me call your, your attention to uh, Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 7. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I'll say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Mm -hmm. Be anxious for nothing. My yeah. favorite scripture. Mm -hmm. But in everything, be, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, mm -hmm. let your requests be known, made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all oh, understanding. understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. That's Philippians 4, verses 4 through 7. Look. Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say. Is that sometimes? No. no. Just when things are going good? No. Always. Only when you hit the power ball? Always. 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 Even when you hit the power ball. <laughs> Rejoice in the Lord always. Y'all think your pastor does that? Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. I mean, I know none of y'all are around him every minute of every day, but is there anything about the pastor's spiritual personality that would lead you to believe that his rejoicing in the Lord is sometimes mm -mm. mm -mm. <laughs> always right in front of him? What about his prayer life? Always. Y'all think our pastor's prayers are prayers of worry and anxiety? No. no. Or do y'all think his uh, prayers of intercession? Mm -hmm. Are his prayers those of somebody standing in the gap for somebody else? Yes. Are his prayers of somebody that's going through it and just can't find the right words to pray right now? Always. Amen. Our pastor ain't anxious when he prays. Because God's word says in the fourth chapter uh -huh. of Philippians to be anxious for, for nothing. nothing. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Mm. It also says in everything, not in a few things, not in some things, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. thanksgiving. Yep. Let your request be made known to God. Pastor Dad, do you thank God before you ask something of God? Yes, I thank him. Do you thank God for what he's already done yes. before you ask him yes. to do something new? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Are you thankful to God for the yes, the no, and the not now answers to yes. the prayers you already prayed? Yes. 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 That's how I'm preaching, boy. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and are you thankful even Ooh. for those answers to the prayers you are about to pray? Since yes is your answer to all of those questions, I'd say you should be at peace. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. And you have the peace, P E. A C E of God because you have a peace. <laughs> I E C E of God. Amen. 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 And those that don't know are the ones that don't not, don't understand why you have such a peace. Mm -hmm. Come on. Surpasses all oh, understanding. understanding. <laughs> But if you know the God I know, yes. okay. you, yes. you fully understand. Yes. You just, you overstand. <laughs> but we know because we know God. Amen. Because if there's no God, there's no peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you 
no, no God. God. You'll know me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Pastor Dad. All right. Do you know God? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to go on already and just say that you know people. <laughs> New Philly, do y'all know God? Yes. 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 And then I know that y'all know people. Yes. Right. For those that don't know, just tell them it's a God thing. Yes. And you could understand. Yes. And don't stop there after you tell them they could understand. Give them an understanding. Yes. God is something that we we should be hoarding. God is to be shared with all of his people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ain't that right, Miss Honey Bunch? All right. <laughs> Ain't that right, Sunita? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Am I right, Pastor Dad? Yeah. Amen. 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 So, I told y'all I wasn't going to hold y'all long. So, why is that the, play, the playground preach? No. <laughs> I like a new Philadelphia to a school. Mm -hmm. And we're all students, including Dad. God, of course, is the instructor. Jesus is the instructor. The thing is, our pastor is that one student that we call the teacher's pet. Boy, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you deep in the Because he knows so much about the subject that not only does he set the learning curve, he sets the grading curve too. Uh -oh. Yeah. Ooh. He works hard. And he studies hard. Uh -huh. Even if we wanted to, we can't outshine the teacher's pet. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's unfortunate to say, but we can't. Uh -huh. So, be at peace. <laughs> but that's okay, though, because along with long study and hard work, there comes a time of relaxation uh -huh. and recreation. Uh -huh. Where do students go <laughs> for recess? Playground. Playground. They go to the playground. playground. Where do they go when there's time to get some unwinding? You want to get away from the classroom for just a little while, Miss Rachel.